Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You will notice I'm holding coffee in my hand and that's cuz we can finally drink it again without getting in trouble. I'm gonna just skip to the strict. Strict sticks. I know a lot of people wanted an update on my clear correct and to see the final results. I will also be talking about my dental bonding experience and giving you my thoughts and opinions about it. So let's start off by talking about the last half of my clear correct treatment. For me, there was no difference between what happened the first half of my treatment versus the last half of my treatment. It was all the same. With that being said, I made an entire video about my first half of my clear correct treatment and I gave pros and cons, I gave my advice, and I also showed you my progress up until the halfway point. So if you are looking for something like that, make sure to go check that video out instead and then come back to this one. I will leave it up in the card so you can go and watch it. This video is really just going to be about the end results and also talking about a little bit about my bonding. I will be showing you some pictures and a couple videos to showcase my teeth before and after. I don't have many pictures of me smiling because I don't really take pictures that often because it just never really crosses into my mind to take pictures. Also, ever since like freshman year, I've stopped smiling with my teeth when I do take pictures because I was so insecure about them. So I don't have any recent ones. So the videos and pictures that you will see are either like pictures from when I was like 14 or 15. So it's gonna be weird, but you're gonna have to bear with me. Mm -hmm. One important thing that I wanted to talk about in this video is whether or not I think that clear correct is worth it. I know, it's kind of important. I know you're gonna hate me for saying this, but I have no idea how much my treatment cost did because I didn't pay for it. And I don't know how much was paid for by insurance, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. But I know that it wasn't more than like six or 7,000, which I know that sounds like a lot, but keep in mind that the dentist that I went to, I know people usually go to orthodontist, orthodontist to get stuff like this but my dentist is like a two-in-one yeah so i know it sounds like a lot but keep in mind that the dentist that i go to is located in la so she could have easily jacked the prices up i don't really know because i don't know where how much it costs in other states and other counties and other cities in other places either way it's gonna be somewhere around three to six thousand dollars maybe more depending on how jacked up your teeth are anyways as to whether or not i think it's worth it i would just say that it really just depends on you it depends on the person if you're someone who is really insecure about your teeth and you find yourself thinking about it all the time or you find yourself not smiling with your teeth in photos or you cover your mouth when you're laughing or anything like that and you just want something that's super quick well not super quick obviously but like quick fix and you can't see it it's invisible I would say it's 110% worth it. However, on the other hand, if it's something that you don't really think about that often and you just don't care that much, obviously it's not worth it. Like one thing that I will say about my results is that I am not 100% happy with them yet and I still plan on getting more work done once I can afford to do that. I just don't want you guys to go into this treatment thinking that once you come out of it, your teeth are going to look drastically different. I don't want you to think that they're going to be like perfectly straight or they're just going to magically be shaped correctly because that's just not true and that's not what happens. Once you finish your treatment, you're probably going to notice that your teeth are a little bit discolored and that's because you had kept them in the trays for so long because when you block your teeth from getting the moisture from your mouth, it's not going to be white, even though you think it would be because you were brushing your teeth so often, it's going to be the opposite. So that's not fun, but the biggest thing that I wanted out of my trays was for my top teeth to all be aligned at the bottom and for them to all be the same length. Sometimes the truth hurts, but that's just not what clear correct or Invisalign or clear braces are meant for, you can't just reshape your tooth. You can't just 
grow your tooth. You can't just pull your tooth out of its root. I don't know if you can do that with braces, but you can't do that with Claire Correct. So if that's what you're looking for and your problem isn't so much with the crookedness of your teeth, it's more the misshapenness, then just know that Clear Correct is probably not going to fix that problem. They're simply meant to straighten out the teeth that you already have. With that being said, if you do want perfectly straight teeth and perfectly aligned teeth and, you know, perfectly white, perf whatever, like obviously talk to your dentist, but I'm assuming that braces would probably be a better option just because they're more accurate and they have a lot more features and if you want to get down into the nitty gritty, I would probably recommend braces over clear correct, but then again, I'm just a high school graduate, okay? I did not go to dental school. However, like I said, if you just want something quick and fast and the look of braces bothers you, go for clear correct 100%. Just know that they might not turn out perfect. For me personally, I think that Claire Correct was worth it just because I don't think I would have been able to handle braces for one. And for two, although I'm not 100% happy with how they look right now, I'm like 80% there and I'm a lot more confident with my smile now than I was before. Now, let's talk about dental bonding. If you don't know what dental bonding is, it is basically like a veneer, except you don't shave down your tooth and you just add to your existing tooth. It's not as permanent and it's not as scary. It's best for younger people because people my age probably shouldn't be getting veneers. I believe that the material that they use or whatever is similar to what they use to fill cavities. I could be completely wrong, but I heard that somewhere. I don't remember where, but I, that, I could be completely wrong, but I think that's where they get it from. I decided probably in the middle of my treatment that I wanted to get dental bonding because I noticed that the two teeth next to my front teeth were shaped really weirdly and I just wanted them to be more of a square shape first of all and they used to be more of like an oval or a circular shape at the bottom and I also wanted them to be longer because they were like they were kind of short and it bothered me. The process to get it done was very easy and very painless it was a little uncomfortable to keep my mouth open for two hours, but it wasn't anything unbearable. Like it was, it just felt like you were at the dentist. I'm used to it. It literally just felt like they were filling a cavity minus the shots and minus the drill and minus the um, pain. So it was really easy. So it was basically like not like a cavity at all because they used the little curing thing, like the little light. That's why it reminded me of a cavity, but I guess it wasn't like a cavity. So yeah, if anyone's wondering, you don't have to get numbed, or at least I didn't because it's just these two teeth, but I'm assuming you're not gonna have to get numbed because it didn't hurt. So for the cost for bonding, it was supposed to be around $500 per tooth. And I talked to my dentist because I was paying for it all with my own money because I am powerful. And she ended up like getting insurance to cover the entire thing. So I paid zero dollars. I think she just told them that there's like a chip in my tooth or whatever. So I am in love with how my bonding came out. If I were to change anything, I would just have made it a little bit longer so that it was literally in line with my second, I mean, my front teeth because it's just like a tiny bit above and I wish I would have just told her to do it a little bit farther down, which is completely my fault because when she was done, she asked me if there's anything I wanted to fix and I thought it was fine at the moment just because it was so different, but like, of course you pick out every freaking thing about yourself that you hate and then you always dwell on it instead of looking at how beautiful the, the rest of the tooth looks you just look at that one quarter of an inch quarter of a, a centimeter you know what i mean so if you have any misshapen teeth i think bonding is a very very good choice especially if you can get that insurance to pay for it and it's been four months for me and i have had no problems it has not chipped it is not nothing it doesn't feel weird and it never did if that's something that you're worried about but yeah, overall, I love it. I recommend it. So that is all the information I wanted to give you, I think. And now I'm going to be showing you some before and after pictures. 
I like them a lot better and I notice a difference and I feel a lot more confident wearing them now. The only thing though is that my jaw is freaking messed up. I know it for a fact. You can't even tell me so when I have money, I'm going to get it checked out because I know there's something wrong. Also, the second time I filmed this video, I found out that I have that thing in my jaw. What is it called? TMJ. That's what it's called. I have that on the side of my thing. I either got it from grinding my teeth at night or I had an addiction to pacifiers until I was like six years old. So if you guys have any other questions that I didn't answer in this video or in the last one, you can just comment them down below or if you want to, you can DM me on Instagram. I know a couple of people have done that and I'll answer you on there. But other than that, I'm probably not gonna make another video because there's nothing to make a video about unless I like do something else to my teeth, which won't be for a couple more years because right now I'm too broke to do anything. I will always answer comments or DM on Instagram. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. And if you end up getting Invisalign or Clear Correct, I hope your treatment goes well. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.